Uh, but there are men that are still like black sisters. If a black sister presented and that, that was his only choice, he would go for it. But if he brought along a Pamela Anderson next to the sister, he would go for that. But he's brainwashed, brother. I'm saying that's But not he's natural. not brainwashed, brother. Yeah, brother. Come on. Pamela what, Anderson. What, you see, Wait, so what are you what, saying? Her, her know, running around. Uh, I'm saying, what is it in the psyche, here? Yeah? Of a black man, yeah, that, that he will leave his sister to the side. Yeah. yeah. Listen, listen. If you could be the only Christian, if you could be post traumatic slavery syndrome. And unfortunately, I'm an old school hip hop man. That's how I come to Islam. Mm. But look at the hip hop today. The women they put in there is, is weave and long hair and dyed hair and this and other. It's, it's self perpetuating this hatred and it goes on. But like I'm saying, from what you're saying, because you're the lucky man, you've got that more closer connection to Africa than we have. So you can, you're, like you're saying, that beauty thing is more apparent for you. For us, we've had it for 500 years that we, was look, we look bad, we are bad, we're never going to be good. And not only that, our women were turned against us. You know, who, who was it that was brought into the slave master's house? Was the, was the, was the slave woman? Content of my everything! You got plenty of ahadith in there, yeah? Indicating that the original Arabs, yeah? Or even and even the companions of the Messenger of Allah, many of them were black. No doubt. People wanna they wanna they, they wanna token Bilal, bro. Bilal weren't the only one. Zaid ibn al Haritha, yeah? The the, the 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 adopted son of the Prophet was black. What about, how about Sumeya, what, the first what, 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 shaheed was an Ethiopian woman. Sorry to cut you. Yeah, but this is a thing, this is another thing that I have an issue with, is um the the, the promotion of of, of of certain people within the deen. So for example, we promote the Sahaba. Yeah, cool, fantastic. I love the Sahaba, especially uh, Bilal, who, uh, and especially all of the, you know, the most important members of the Sahaba. We love them all, no matter where they come from, no matter what they look like, we love them all. However, they are Sahaba, they are companion. Yeah, they are not the Rasul who came before Muhammad Sallallahu Musa Alayhi Wasallam was a Rasul. He was not no slave, he was not no send out cuz. He, he was not no side man, he was not no companion, yeah? He was a Rasul, yeah? He was a president, a commander in chief, yeah? And he was a black African man, there's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about that, yes? 100%. But why, Isa, why did they, why was that when I was five years old, did I know that, that, that Bilal, I love Bilal. I'm not here to, I will never disrespect Bilal. Wallahi, I love Bilal, yeah? But why is it that I knew at five years old Bilal was an ex-slave, that he was an African, that he was black, that he was a Sahaba, a companion, but not until I was 20 years old did I know Musa alayhi wasalam, was a president, commander-in-chief, prophet, al-Nabi, al-Rasul. The fact is that a lot of us don't know our deen. And a lot of the, infor exactly. the information. Oh, why why the is one thing promoting and the other thing the information, is not? The information. Okay, listen. Yeah, it's, that's 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 part of our failure as well because we've allowed people to overrun the narrative. Yeah, they, they, is that a racist? The narrative? reason why Bilal is so such a such a big thing, yeah, is because it's 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 it's, sort of, it's supposed to be a demonstration of how Islam set people free and 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 and, and, and civilized them and was generous. It's it's a it's a it's an expression, but it doesn't. If you don't get the effect, yeah, like as a black African man, story of like my little brother, in fact, embraced the dean recently. And when I asked him what name he chose, and I was like, in my head, I'm still now, I'm, I'm trying to get him another, another name. So he chose the name Bilal. So I said to him, why? It's because the, the story of Bilal is so it's emotional and it's out there. Like, that's, that's, that's why the people promote it. Question, if he knew the story of Musa, alayhi salam, yeah, the real story of Musa alayhi wasalam, do you think that he might have considered the name Musa as well? Most probably. Okay, so this, Most is, probably. this is not but point, that's what this I'm saying. Point I'm his, his Did, he know, Did he know it? He didn't, but his companions, who are there they? His companions, who are they? They're, his companions are Asian, Afghani, Persian. Who? What, Musa alayhi wasalam? No, my, my brother. Okay. So those are the people, look. The Prophet, there's a hadith where the Prophet said that the, or a man said, I've seen black sheep here yeah, being overcome by white sheep. Black sheep, yeah, understand the similitude. Black sheep being over, overcome by a white sheep. The, so the prophet was asked, who is this? He said the black sheep, yeah, as for the black sheep, the Arabs. As for the white sheep, they are the Persian non-Arabs coming in within us and overcoming them. <laughs> so there's some sort of, at least, there's some sort of symbology in there to show you that the Arabs have some sort of 
relationship with, 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 with blackness and being African. Now, now fam, who, whose responsibility is it to tell these, these narratives about black individuals? Us. It's it's us. That's what it is. And that's why I say it's our I'm failure saying. because we've gone away from the book. Brother, if you look Islamically uh, on the scholars in Islam, the majority of them are not Arab. They are African, brother. But well, okay, who's the scholar who's promoted an Islam channel? Is he African or is he white Englishman, Pakistani What's man? What's that? Islam channel. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's not African. Is he a white Englishman? No, he's an Arab. Oh, is, is, is so that hang on, hang on. I, I, I'm telling you right now. I see more white Englishmen, more white Europeans on Islam channel. Sheikhs, no doubt, but they've been Muslim what ten years, fifteen years. Yeah. And, and they're promoted over my brother course. from Nigeria, my brother from Somalia. Of course. And that's, that's because, not an that's because that's you guys are not organised, or us guys are just we're not organised. That's why I'm trying to get us organised, but we keep jumping off the bridge. Yeah, stay on the bridge. The thing is, in our, really? in our countries, we're sort of organised though. I, can't, I say, like, if we go to Ghana, they're not white man on the mimba. It's a, it's a I African go to Somalia and the, uh, and the white man is put on a pedestal, no doubt. No yeah, doubt. Right, but then, no but doubt. It, no I doubt. No I doubt. I've seen it with my own two eyes. Well, lie, don't, don't, don't. No, I Bruv, my dad, when I was young, I lived in Somalia for two years, yeah? My dad sold our house, which is a villa, beautiful house. To a white man, and and then when the white man came, hang on, when a, when, when a white man, hang on, when a white man came to see my, let me finish, please stop interrupting me. Nobody's gonna silence me today. Well, I nobody's gonna silence me. No one's stop, 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 stop. If you care about the truth, you will not interject me. You will not interject. When the white man came to my house, yeah, to buy my house from my dad. Yeah, my dad made us all, all of the kids. I am one of seven, yeah? What did you buy that? Hergesa? What city? What city in it? Yeah, what city? Tell us what city. Let me... Do you know what? I want to answer that question. Oh, right. okay, I can't buy land speak. Let him speak, let him speak. Stop. Habibi, please, bro. Hergesa. Okay, it was Hergesa. Is that legislation? Okay, okay. It was Hergesa. Oh, oh, is it legislation? Let him speak, let him speak. When, when the white man came to my house to buy my house, my dad made us line up like it was a state visit. Like there was some president coming. Well, I'm not joking, bro. When I went to Hagesa two years ago, yeah, when I went to Hagesa two years ago, I flew back and I caught a connecting flight from Addis Ababa. Me and about 48, 49 Somalis and two white men caught a flight from Hagesa to London, um, changing in Addis Ababa. We had a nine hour transit in Addis Ababa, yeah, Ethiopia, yeah. I look like the Ethiopians, bro. And look, listen, 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 listen to the wickedest thing, yeah. So we get to Addis Ababa airport. And we're walking through, we get to uh, like the immigration bit, because obviously we're going to the hotel, isn't it? So we get to the immigration bit, it's empty, completely empty. And, uh, uh, and we're like, oh, this, this is cool, because on the way to Somalia, it was packed, it took us hours. So like, yeah, this is nice. But every kiosk, you know, people that stamp your passports, all of those kiosks were closed. And then we were there for about five minutes, and then some um, Ethiopian guy walked up the, up the queue. I was at the front of the queue. He walked past me, he walked past my mum behind me, and every single Somali in the queue. And he was muttering under his breath, Somali, 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 Somali. He got to the white man. Got to the white man, the English man. He said, hey, friend, where are you from? <laughs> he said, friend, where are, you, where are you from? Yeah? He said, I'm from Yorkshire. And the other one said, I'm from Manchester. He said, come with me, please. Now, in their group, please, brothers, please, brothers. In, his, in, the, in, the, in their group, there was a Somali man, which I assume is their translator. I can't be wrong. Maybe that's my own prejudice coming out. Maybe. But what I assumed was their translator. So obviously, if you're in a party, you're going to travel if two, and you're three people, yeah? And two of them get called out. Instinctively, you're going to travel with them, aren't you? So that's what he did. He walked with them. By the time he got to me, like I'm at the front of the queue in it. By the time he got to me, the Ethiopian man noticed the Somali walking with them. And he said, wait here. He took them to the kiosk, he stamped their passport, he sent them through. He comes back, he said, they're very sorry, your transit is less than five hours. You must all wait in the airports. You must all wait in the airports. My transit was like nine, ten hours. And we're there arguing with him. I'm there, look, wallahi, I was with my watch. Say, look, one hour, two hour, three hour, and I'm counting ten hours like that. And still he wants to argue with me. This went on for 25, 30 minutes. Yeah, and it's not just me arguing with him, all of us are arguing with him. And then eventually, he's like, you know what? I'll open the kiosk. You know, he stamps us all in. Let's just get past. Cool. We get to our bus, our minibus that's taking us to our hotel. The two white men are there. I was like, bro, why are you still here? He's like, we're waiting for you, innit? 
I go, why didn't you just get a taxi? Well, I don't know where the hotel is. Plus, there's a free car, there's a free uh, minibus in it. Well, I'm gonna pay for a taxi. I go, brother, how long have you been waiting here? He goes, about an hour and a half. Yeah, and do not tell me that that has nothing to do with the color of your skin. 100% that happened to them because they were white. We the African, we the black man, we the black woman, we practice self-hate. There is no doubt about that. So what's There's the no remedy, doubt bro? about that. Do you know how I know this? Because my sister is the only sister to cover her hair. Like an afro is not a crown. Like it's not a crown. Yeah? But my sister is told from the, from the moment she is born, your hair is unprofessional, your hair is ugly, your hair cannot be elegant, your hair cannot equal beauty. So my sister, she covers her hair with a European woman's hair. With a Korean woman's I hair. Think, I think this problem is, it's a lot, it's, it's a problem with a lot of black women. They start wearing the weaves, they start wearing this, you know, straight hair. Why? To, to, yeah, but to, what's the reason? Why? 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 Self-hate. Self you, self self you don't know. Self you don't know. You don't know. Self-hate, bro. It's self-hate. You saying I don't know is you practicing self-hate. It's self-hate. You saying I don't know is you practicing self-hate. It's self-hate. No, you said I don't know. Then he said self-hate. Then you said self-hate. Don't try to please people here. Let's talk the truth, bro. Let's talk the truth here. Let's not. Well, well, I'm not here for propaganda. I'll tell you the truth in it. I'm not here for no, propaganda. Jump to conclusions, man. No, I'm not. You bro. never heard what I was gonna say. No, I oh, heard you say I don't know. I heard you say I don't know. Then my brother here said self hate, and then you said self hate. Why are you trying to please the crowd for? Because maybe I didn't know what the answer was. So he had to tell you the answer. Stay on track. Stay on track. So, anyway, so, anyway, so, the point. So, why the remedy? Why, why, do they, why, do they, why do they hate themselves because so much to put on someone else's hair? Because we have been brainwashed and we have been conditioned. And this brainwashing, this conditioning, it is the system. Oh, that's what I'm trying to say. I agree it's the you, system man. that we call white supremacy. Yeah, I don't call it white supremacy personally, you know. I'm, like lie, I said, brother, I'm in two minds about that. I'm in two minds about that because there's. Tell there's me why. A, because there's a lot of black women that are strong out there and they ain't succumbed Mush. to, yeah, they, yeah. They, they got yeah. their own natural hair, their afros or whatever, they got natural roll. Nice, yeah. beautiful, absolutely, I agree and, with that. And they're doing that, like. But who, is that, that, what is, is, that, it, the, what, what, is that the exception of the rule? No, I'm saying, what is the device, yeah, by which we are saying or claiming that they're self-hating because they're being brainwashed? Listen, by what mechanism are they being brainwashed? First of all, our sister, first of all, let's not get it twisted. Our sister is better than our brother. Don't get it twisted, innit? Our brother is more, film, bro. our brother is more brainwashed than the sister. Let's not get it twisted, first and foremost, right. yeah? Because, like I said, when I went to them protests, I didn't see no Somali brothers. I saw Somali sisters, yeah? I didn't see no Nigerian Muslims. I saw Nigerian Muslim sisters. You feel me? Yeah, so the sister is better than the brother. Let's look. They might have been doing something else, though. Let's, let's not go into that. <laughs> they might have been doing something on the ground. When when it comes to when it comes to this conditioning, this, this socializing, this process that comes that we've been poisoned by, um, the man has been poisoned more than the sister. Let's be real, yeah. So when I'm talking about weaves, I'm not trying to embarrass any sister out there. I'm not trying to embarrass anyone out there, yeah. I'm just simply, um, I'm here for the truth. So we saying bro. that what the black man likes the weaves and that. The black man only likes the weaves because he's been convinced to like the weave. Does he though? I never liked weave in my life, bro. No, do I. I don't I care know, what I no one says, bro. No, do I. No, yeah. do I. I've never. Hold on, hold on. But again, we're not talking about the rules. Yeah, yeah, no. I'm yeah. saying, I'm saying, there's nothing. There's never been anything that's <laughs> like I've never felt any pressure to accept the, the fake standards of beauty, brother. Like I. Personally, I've always said there's beautiful people from all corners of the earth. Yes, right. Yeah? Spectrum of colours. I, I do believe in lifting my own people, but at the same time, I'm not going to deny if a woman from another race is, is beautiful, bro. That's, that's some self denial shit. But. For me, I don't. Look. If, are we encouraging the sisters to do that? To. to, 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 uh, to um, adhere to these standards or are they doing it of, of, of their own accord? Forth. It's been a back and forth. One side has been made to like, for instance, let's say for instance Caribbean, yeah? Right. With us growing up, a lot of the black women were in a situation where they were church girls. So it's very difficult for the man them to get any goodies from the women. Right. So let's say the, the, the European women, they weren't so religious and they were interested to see what a black man has to offer, so to speak. Right. Do you understand my point? So therefore, there was that competition where you're taking all our black men. So then, gradually, let's say that the European ladies, uh, the, the black sisters, would start to try and be more like the European. And then back, then it's a back and forth, because then they start promoting our sisters. So they're imitating the and of, thinking that's what right. black men want. Thank you. And a lot of them, they promoted it that way by promoting rappers and so on, to show that that's what they do want. Do you get me? Wasting money, just the same with clothing, all the rest of it. They've intertwined it in that way. But when you get, because what you have to look at, while that's going on, 
Excuse me, please. <laughs> Camera, please. While that's going on, yeah, there's always been the movements to call to the original blackness, whether mm. it be Rastafarianism, Nation of Islam, there's always been groups calling yeah. to stay to your original tradition. Right. From the Caribbean, the Rasta man has always been calling. Right. From little, in my house, wherever I went, where there's a Rasta man, he would always bring up the subject of culture and so on. Do you know what I mean? But then is there a group of people who didn't call to that then? No, there's no, no, they had, they had, we had the Kuhn Christian all the time. You had the, the majority of Caribbeans would be, I'm not African and blah, blah, blah. Do you get what I'm saying? Right, so they that looked Kunin. up to the blonde hair, the blue eyes, all not of that. Not necessarily that, but I'm just saying they, they thought they were someone separate from the, so what, they, what I don't agree with the term African, but that was their thing. We're a separate people. And they looked up to white people in that sense. Because that's, that, that's what he's talking about, domination. That's what it's systematic white supremacy, yeah. right? It dominates in all areas of activity, right? There you go. So, so visually, uh, Hollywood, whatever it is, these are the only standards. So when I'm saying black people come together, it's to, to erect our own institutes where we're going to make our own stories where there's going to be an alternative look or the traditional look. So now when people are growing up, they have more of a choice of what am I going to go with rather than yeah. all they're seeing is one particular thing. You see? It should be all out on the table. Yeah. As well as the, con the, the consequences. Mm. Because you don't want them to say at the moment they're going to choose the fakeism, go down so many years of making a wrong choice and not knowing what that might, and then jump back but onto we, the black trade. We have to learn how to speak to, to, our, to our collective, right? So the first thing is black women, from our perspective, are always beautiful regardless of what choice they make, right? We just want to give them an option. I'm on that. Well, hold, I'm no, not gonna, the reason I'm not I say this is because, yeah. hold on, I'm saying is because when it comes to women and their styling, this is them. How are we going to have a debate about women and not invite women to talk about their own, their own experience, right? Yeah. So I'm saying, as saying men... On, as, as I'm, saying, I'm saying, I'm not on just saying, are oh, we accept the black sorry, women sorry. anyhow they come. Yeah, well, if, well, well, if, if there's certain things about them that's yeah, not correct, yeah, yeah, well, then I'm, I'm, I'm not saying... I'm not saying physical beauty. I'm, 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 talking, I'm talking physical, I'm talking about mindset. Character. I'm not saying... Yeah. I'm, I think what he's saying is if they choose, for instance, to, to, to blonde up themselves, yeah, the, the, I draw the line at bleaching. Well, yeah. You <laughs> bleach your skin, yeah, yeah. I that's, that's, know... That, that's, 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 that's talking about that's biological harm now. But what I'm saying is, I'm what I'm saying. Saying is it, as, as men who are responsible, right? we have yeah. to understand how women yeah. have gone through something. I so for, so for, us, for us to go around circles and talk about women without them being here, and all we're saying is, weave, 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 weave. I'm saying, what we're, what we're going to do, saying, I'm saying I'm going to try to change the narrative Fine, but so that there's options for them to get a perspective, don't we? Yeah. Right, but because I'm saying certain things like physical beauty and mindset, yeah, are as a direct result of men's actions. A woman no. don't a woman not coming out in this six foot weave, yeah? yeah. If there ain't a man to follow her up and say, "Rah, I'm feeling that." A kind of culture like that there's, supports there's, it, right, right? Someone that's acceptant of that. I, I hear you, but then when you look at some of the crazy stuff that comes out of the Caribbean, it's like it's always a competition to be more idiotic than the, the other people. Yeah, but, but it's fueled by saying? men, though, as well. It seems to be, but the, a lot the of behavior of the team, women is fueled by the I, men. I, I so the men, need to, yeah. the men need to correct their mentality forth. as well. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. That's what, that's I've heard black brothers, like, yeah. well, if a woman's got a natural hair, be like, nah, I'm not fucking with that type of thing there. Yeah. Or you hear niggas when they're amongst each other, do you know what I mean? Like, talking about girls in there. If a girl's yeah. too dark skinned, they'll be like, nah. I don't but like that. That's so so what? It, bro. Like, but you know what? Like, no, but that, that is so, because so of girls. raping and whipping and so on that's been imprinted, forced into our brains. It's not something we voluntarily just said, oh, we don't like our own people and our sisters anymore. That's something that took so much you abuse. Say, Issa, you're of telling me yeah, that a, a black man looks at his black sister yeah. Yeah, and doesn't desire her because it's been whipped out of him? No. Nah. Hold on, hold on. Let me get this correct. Are you saying that a normal black. For instance, you'll go to a country where they've never seen a white person in their life and they see a white person, all of a sudden they don't fancy black women anymore? They, but they flock over. Have you never seen, hold on, hold on, have you never seen African women? Listen to what I'm saying, that they don't find the black women. So this guy grew up, never seen any white people in his life. Yeah, right. He's fancied this, let's say, black woman over here, yeah, yeah. come to puberty and so on, and then he sees a white woman. Yeah. Are you saying he don't find black women attractive anymore because he's seen no, another No, no, he does. He's still, right. he'll still, he'll still, so I'm saying to you, has to be a sister he says that's, that's about people away. that don't like dark skin sisters. Yeah. So specifically, they don't like them. I'm not saying you've got a new variant of what you call beauty or what you're attracted to. Right. But he's talking about, no, they cut the line and say we don't like... I'm saying that had to be raped, murdered, all kind of different wickedness right. but, for them to come about okay. thinking that, 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 is, that I think that's, um, that's at the polar end, yeah? But there are men that are still like black sisters. If a black sister present, and that was his only choice, he would go for it. But if we brought along a Pamela Anderson next to the sister, he would go for that. But he's brainwashed, brother. I'm saying that's but not But he's natural. not brainwashed, brother. Oh, brother. Come on. Pamela what was, what, is he, Wait, brother, so what are you what, saying? Her, what, her running around. I'm saying, what is it in the psyche, yeah? 
of a black man. Yeah, that will, that he will leave his sister to the side. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, listen. If you if you, the, oh, no, 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 if you if you, if you if you turn on TV and you've grown up in this in this society, yeah. beauty has been sold to, yeah. right? And, and there's been certain uh, people groups that have been uh, uh, pushed forward as beauty. So if you're a young person, you're growing up, you're going to escalate towards that. That's just the basic. But don't people inside. walk around in the world? You don't walk around. Listen, listen, listen. Here's this, right? Listen. If you have posters and movies. And, 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 and all the effort and it is placed towards there. Whoever is there is going to get it. It's going to go there, bro. Do you know what I'm saying, right? So that's what it is. It's a, I work in markets. So I'm telling you, this is, what, this is what is done. Yeah? This is how it works. This is how psychology works. This is how it works. Right? So if you're a person, you grow up, and all you see is the, 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 the best type of beauty is this particular phenotype, then that's going to interrupt your psyche and you're going to pick that up. Remember, yeah. it started off blatantly before when we were supposed to be subhuman. But always they put the standard of beauty as the white woman. Do you get what I'm saying? And if you look at the process by which they done that, it was always, sometimes it was blatant, but then other times it was subliminal. Do you get what I'm saying? It started off blatant, that was the fact. How do we you were supposed to be civ uncivilized monkeys and so on. Exactly. How, how do you control your narrative? So I'm saying, you know what I'm talking about black people come together to get their own power, right? That we're talking about controlling our narratives, right? right. Meaning that the, the stories we put out are the stories people hear. The, the images we put out is, is what they see. So if you have a film, and the film is called The World is Beautiful, and you've got a black woman there, and it's the number one film in the, in the planet, then that's going to influence people to say, yeah, black woman's quite nice, whatever, yeah? That's what I'm saying, you have to control your narrative. You're not going to get there by asking other people to put you up. You have to collectively do it. And that's, that's, that's the science there, right? But it's, it's challenging to get that science out of them because we're distracted by all these, these, these non faculties, right? And that's why I'm trying to stay focused. So we'll get these brothers I think the, the disparity that's kind of going on here, yeah, with Brother Issa saying something, yeah, you're what I would call an original African man. There's a difference between, no, let me explain, let me explain. There's a difference between us who are descendants from the Caribbean and those who are what I still, you were fortunate your ancestors weren't taken. That when you perceive a woman, a black woman, that's your first aspect of beauty. But if for us in the Caribbean, we had it lashed into us, beaten to us, to hate our own self. To the point where we don't even have to be told anymore, we self-perpetuate it. So yeah, I would say if you are a man that's from Ghana, Nigeria, yeah, your first, your aspect of desire is going to be a black woman. Whether she's, and she could be dark, 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 but you still see her for that beauty. But for us, like I say, whether we're Jamaican, uh, Trinidadian, Barbadian, from when we was in the church, we looked up and we saw Mary, the mother of Jesus, peace be upon him. What color was she? She was white. What color hair did she have? This nice golden hair that come down. Good hair. But we was told that nappy hair was bad hair. And then after... I've been being told that all my life, brother. If I, when I undo my hair, my hair's... Right, nappy. and that is... But no, I, no, no, what, that but is. what I'm saying is, right, bro, is that you, this is, we was cut off from our African ancestry. Now, I can know it a bit. Like, my, my family from Jamaica, yeah? yeah? Jamaicans predominantly are from Ghana. So, predominantly, most Jamaicans are a shanty in mm. origin. But you go to the average Jamaican, right? That's from back a yard. Tell him he's an African. Right, even my own dad, even my own dad will look down on other Caribbean islands and say, I'm not them people there, them small yeah. island people. Yeah. Let alone you talk about an African man that come from Africa. Yes, sir. I ain't no African, I'm a Jamaican. And that was brilliant, perpetual to the point that it's become like a virus. It's a virus that we transmit generation to generation. And I know me personally, one of my wife's, because I got two wives, my oh, wife well. from the from the, <laughs> no, well, I'm, 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 right, I'm, I'm being honest, right? My first wife from the very beginning, when we got married, we was we got married on the basis of Islam, but we also said, but we're also Africans and we're Muslims, and we have to operate within that because unfortunately there's like this kind of like. Uh, dichotomy being set up that you can't be an African, African and a Muslim. Yeah. That's rubbish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's rubbish, right? I tell you, my son's name is Salahuddin Yusuf Chukwamekka. Chukwamekka is my wife is half Grenadian, half Nigerian. She's Igbo. She's Igbo. Yeah, my yeah. son has an Igbo name. He knows his ancestry. He knows his ancestry in Grenada. He knows his ancestry in Nigeria. 
and he can go back. But the point is, me and my wife, we said from the beginning, he would be brought up to be proud of being African. To look in the mirror and know that he got good hair. To know that his skin's good. And he can sit there and say, you know what, I'm an African. Not only I'm an African, I'm an Igbo. I'm an Igbo man. He knows that. But unfortunately, for those of us who are not conscious of that from the Caribbean, we don't have that. That's what I'm saying, if you're a man, that your ancestry is African one or two generations, you was fortunate because you still know your tribe, you know your ancestry. That was cut off. And uh, Professor Joyce de Glulieri, she wrote a book on it called Post-Traumatic Slavery Syndrome. And that's what we're suffering from, post-traumatic slavery syndrome. And unfortunately, I'm an old school hip hop man. That's how I come to Islam. Mm. But look at the hip hop today. The women they put in there is, is weave and long hair and dyed hair and this and other. It's, it's self perpetuating this hatred and it goes on. But like I'm saying, from what you're saying, because you're a lucky man, you got that more closer connection to Africa than we have. So you can, you're, like you're saying, that beauty thing is more apparent for you. For us, we've had it for 500 years, that we was look we look bad, we are bad, we're never gonna be good, and not only that, but our women were turned against us. You know, who, who was it that was brought into the slave master's house? Was the, was, the, was the slave woman, and the children that she had would then become objects of her oppression. And what did the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, say? He prophesied this, he said the slave girl would give birth to her mistress. How many times did we see that in the 500 year period of slavery? Clear. So yeah, we've had it, this psychological brainwashing for 500 years. It ain't gonna disappear overnight. It's gonna take time. And it's gonna take time, to take time for people to recognize we have it. And as the brother Raven has said on many occasions, it's creating another narrative. And that is creating films and feel, feel like that. You know, we're authentic films, having our own industry. Well, it's, and I it's know sort that. Of started. It's, it's, it's started. The gears are slowly. But, but this is the thing. And at the same time, you know, we have to support each other in those particular ventures. And I don't see that happen a lot. There's too much, even this, this barrel, this crabs in a barrel. Yeah, it's like, look at look at all the arguments that are going on between Tariq Nasheed and Umar Johnson. And all of this rubbish, they're arguing, arguing over what? It's rubbish. Yeah. Rubbish. But then you've got to check these people's intentions as well, yeah? No, I personally, I look at it from this, I think they're lacking in a spiritual background to them. To me, that, and I'm speaking as a Muslim, yeah, I'll, I'll clear that. No, I ain't ashamed of that. i got that spiritual, and if you look at people, groups like the Black Panthers, that's what they lost out on, that spiritual aspect. But then again, you have groups like the Nation of Islam that are spiritual, but they're not revolutionary. It's about bringing them two elements together. Because no way can you lead a revolution if you ain't moral. Sorry, you can't. You can't. Never yeah. happen. So you're saying there has to be a, some sort of a code of conduct that yeah, brings man to together? Yeah, you have to have a code of conduct. How can you have a group like the Black Panther Party and they mistreated black women in there? Like they was like, oh, you know, got some sisters. They treat like their own little person, Harim. Yeah. No, you can't. Yeah. I, you, it's like you, ha you can't have a revolution if you're not revolution your whole nation, the men and the women. So everyone's got to be upright. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Clear, yeah. clear cut, man. Clear cut. Yeah, so that, that probably answers your question about the whole... Yeah. Yeah, well, so, we, so, 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 so let's, 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 let's recap, right? We're going around the block, but no matter where we go, the same message I've been saying for years stays in it. That the only way black people are really going to progress is by coming together, yeah, and being self determined, yeah? That literally, no matter where we go, that's always the conclusion. And no matter when we have these dialogues, you're only ever going to really get black people saying these stories, isn't it? Have you noticed that amongst all the different collective black groups, there's a there's a whole lot of self hatred that's going in there, right? And sabotage that's going in there. Yeah. So I'm saying it's hard work, brother, but you gotta stay on it. That's it. All I know is like, how do we bridge the gap between Africans and Caribbeans? You know what I mean? Like uh, my brother was saying that Caribbeans don't see themselves as African a lot of the time. So for them to identify with their African, the black struggle, like how do you, like, you how do you connect the two and like, make them so come together? Let's say this brother's from Ghana, right? Just say this brother becomes an, an amazing filmmaker, right? And he makes like a top quality film somehow. And then there's all people from Ghana doing wonderful things, kings, queens, whatever it is, right? And it's, an, it's so good, it's a number one film, number one game.
they know one book. All those Jamaicans now are going to start trying to see if they've got ancestry in Ghana, isn't it? Yeah. Because there's something that they like to see. Yeah, but the thing true, is, when, when people who dislike you control your narrative, and they have, they have people from, 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 from the motherland, you know, starving and, and, and doing all kinds of stuff, yeah. no one's going to go, let me, let me look back into my ancestry. And they go, yeah. I'm actually more European, I'm European. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's what's always happened. Look at, look at the divide between Haiti and, and Dominican Republic, right? Yeah. Where, where the Dominican Republic was at one point identifying as white. Like all of them, they were white. We're not, we're not, we're not black, we're white. Yeah. This is what it is. So I'm saying that's why people, intelligent, uh, creative people, have to have to be consistent, dedicated, write these narratives, control these narratives, and be and be spot on. But you have to actually love black people. If you don't love black people, when you get put in a, 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 a position of power, you're not going to do anything that benefits black people. Yeah. You've seen, haven't it? People get to the top, and it's like, oh, that's alright, I'll do something else. It's yeah. No problem, man. Well, I'm not going to say none of this, but what I'm saying is, you know what I mean? So you have to have this, you have to actually raise your children with this concept, isn't it? Black Batman building, I've been saying it. Cool. That's so what then, it is. So, then, so then how, do we, how, do we acquire, how do we acquire the power and the infrastructure to well, it's like, these things? Well, it's like this, right? Because Hollywood is, okay. Hollywood has, the, uh, 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 they have a machine behind Hollywood. them. Okay. Yeah, okay. that can well, crush other things, crush distribution. Right. Well, your starting point is dedication, right? If, if you guys, if we all agree that we want black people to, uh, to progress collectively, right? That's that's the starting point. We have this, it's called this oath, right? right? Next is when we have children and so forth and ourselves, we're learning skills that's valuable, right? So you have to, there's so many activities, we, we, can't, we can't leave, come and run, right? Yeah. So for example, let's just say that you're a, a, a tech engineer, you're a graphic designer, you're a, a, a media programmer, whatever it is, you guys can come together and you can make an app. You can make an app and you get someone who's got a bank or whatever, got money to fund it, whatever. Yeah. And you've made a product that exists, that does something, and we can promote them amongst black people. Yeah? Just say you're a director, just say you're a musician, just say you're an actor. You can come together, make a film, and get distributed. Yeah? You don't have to wait for anybody. Yeah? Any activity we can do. If you want to make video games, make video games. If you want to have a farm, have a farm. Yeah? You, 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 your first base is, I'm a black person who wants black people to do good, and that's what we call black betterment building. And once you agree that, then you, you go and you try to progress, you try to do things that's constructive, innit? And you remember, I know this is where people become very like, confused, but you have a black first mentality, meaning that because I'm trying to fix black people, I need to offer black people the opportunities first whenever it's constructive possible. Yeah. yeah? If you do that, you will see change. But if you start doing the whole kumbayaism, like, I don't know, universalism, then what's happening will remain. These, these, are, these are the scientific facts that I've identified, and we, we just see you demonstrate. We, Content of my heritage from your domain. Come, man, say it straight. Man, don't listen to BBC. Man, don't listen to ITV. Free. Listen, C-O-E! Yeah. I don't listen to BBC, man don't listen to ITV, I don't even listen to Sky YG, I just listen to C-O-E! I don't listen to BBC, I don't listen to ITV, I don't even listen to Sky YG, man just listen to C-O-E! Man just listen to C-O-E! Man just listen to C-O-E! If you see me, it's C-O-E! People go against those rules, I'm down for that bro. They get their warning, but after that warning, they get demoted or pushed out. Yeah. You could do that. Like, I'm only joking. Hey, listen, policeman that's watching this, I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here for violence. But the thing is, bro, you've Just got intellectual violence. Intellectual bitch lacks, inshallah. That's it. You've got